Let's talk about assets. Assets are essentially just external files managed by Statomic. They can be anything from images and videos to documents and zip files, you know, like any kind of file ever. Uh, just like entries and pages, they can have custom data attached to them with field sets. Well, let's get right into it. We'll jump into the control panel and go to the assets section where you're going to find, you guessed it, the assets. Now, assets are organized into containers. Each container is just uh, a mapping to a local file system folder or directory or an Amazon S3 account. Or not account, rather, but uh, a container. So inside here, uh, this particular one is the default, just called main, and it's just pointing at the assets directory in web root. So if we go into here, we're gonna see the same files are being shown because Statomic just takes a look at the file system and will generate thumbnails for you if the files aren't too big, like a one terabyte TIFF file would be way too large for a server to process. But uh, that's basically what you're gonna see. Any supported files will be in here. You can toggle between tile and list mode. You can upload new files, like just uh, drag something and drop it in. And uh, if you double click on an image, or basically any asset, you'll get a preview of that particular file type. And if it's a image, you can set a focal point where you'd like to make sure uh, a point is the center of an image or is always inside of an image when you're doing dynamic cropping. So that's a cool thing. You can move files, you can delete them, and then you can set custom data. By default, Statomic will let you set a title and an alt text, but we can also set a uh, field set on any asset container and customize the fields available. Next, let's create our own asset container. We'll start by creating its location in the file system. And one thing to note, uh, you're not gonna wanna nest them inside of each other. That makes things a little bit confusing. So if you wanna have multiple containers, perhaps you would create this assets directory and then inside of that have multiple folders, each their own container. We're not gonna get into that. We'll just make um, one called second. Go down to configure content because uh, content or assets are a type of content in Statomic. And then go to assets, create new asset container. And here we go. So we're gonna give it a name called uh, second assets. And yeah, I'll just call it second. Go to our next step local file system, and let's see, this is going to parse the path on the fly, and this is in fact the directory we want. It tells us it exists, and now we set the URL. Uh, the URL is not automatically set because you may have different uh, like locales or different uh, subdirectories, so we're just gonna tell it a second, and it validates that as the URL. Now we can pick a field set if we want, and I created one ahead of time called assets, and we're done. The container is saved. Now we can make any updates to that. Go back to assets, and now in the sidebar, we have two locations here. So in this second one, let's just drop a couple of files so we can work with those. And here we go. You can see uh, different file types. Videos let you play videos. And now they also have a description field, maybe this members only toggle, which is something you know, you'd know you wanna hook up into your template logic and uh, give you a lot more control over what you store on your files. Next, let's use them somewhere, right? So we've, we've managed some, we've created a place to put them. It still doesn't get anything to show up on the website, right? So we'll go to this uh, sandbox page that I've been working with for this video series and I've set up an assets field type. This is mapped to the main container. So if we go to browse, we're gonna see that particular list. Actually, if you don't set it, you get to pick between them right here. Uh, let's decide we're gonna use this photo. We'll select, actually we'll do multiple. We'll do all three of these. You can rearrange these. Uh, you can come back in, you can edit all that stuff. It's all available anywhere that you're working with assets. So if we save this and then go to our templates, 
This is the data that the assets field stores. It's an array of files. Uh, each file has its own, it's basically just a, a path to that file. And uh, that's all it is. So if you want to loop through this, it's pretty easy. Because it's just YAML. Let's say you want to get that metadata on your files, right? If you're working with just this as your YAML, well, that's not enough info. The easiest way to do that is with a modifier. So let's change this markup slightly. We'll have a div. We'll wrap this image with a div. Uh, we'll give it some bottom margin. And then underneath the image, we'll give it, let's see, a small text with some low opacity and we'll show the alt text. So this get modifier, this get modifier will use the value of whatever variable you're working with and will go fetch related data to it. Since it's an asset, it knows, it'll look it up, it'll find the stored data on your asset and display it. But we haven't set that, right? So let's go back into our control panel real quick, go into this playground, and we'll edit these. So we'll give this desert stuff, lights, and this third one, I believe, yeah, I have set as smoke and mirrors. All right, let's refresh. Desert stuff, lights, smoke and mirrors. Now it bothers me that this isn't centered, so we're just going to do that and pretend I did it for the first time. Uh, but working with assets is basically that simple. Now there is another syntax in order to uh, fetch this, which is going to be starting it with assets colon assets. And you give it, uh, after the colon, you're going to give it the name of the variable. And now you're working directly with the related data. So we could say URL, and then here we could just say alt. If we refresh, should be unchanged. Yep, desert stuff, lights, smoke and mirrors. Now say you've got a container full of files, like images, and you don't wanna to have to manage picking them all out one at a time. Uh, you just wanna like pull them all out. Like maybe there you've got photo galleries or something like that. You can do that with assets by itself as a tag, set the container, Let's say second, and that's it. So this here is looping through all of the assets in the second container, which does contain non-image files. So you may wanna check some variables and some data on your files if you plan to do something like that. If we went to just the main container, it would pull those ones. And now lastly, let's take a quick look at where Statimic is storing this data. So you know, in case you want to store it by hand or edit it by hand, it's just better to know. So inside site, content, assets, you'll have a YAML file for each container. And inside that will be this assets key with a path to each file and data set on them. So you can see smoke and mirrors, desert stuff, lights. You can come and set the stuff right here, title, a picture of the desert. You get the idea. Now we've only just scratched the beginning of what's possible with assets, but hopefully this helps to show you what's possible. Uh, and just keep in mind that the term assets may be referring to the content type, which is kind of the way the data is stored against those assets, or it may be referring to the assets field type in the control panel, or perhaps the assets tag in your template. So different contexts for the package that is assets. It's pretty powerful. Just keep that in mind that when you're talking about assets, it should be clear which part you're referring to.